from the anarcho-communists sending hidden messages to children that only your most conservative uncle can decipher. And the director of Back to the Future, The Ride. Get out of way! Comes a sequel that ditches the low-stakes appeal of Ant-Man in favor of an infinite loop of Kang movies. So, Jonathan Majors plays all of them? Too late to change that in post, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. In a world where the same effects team has to balance this and Wakanda forever at the same time, comes a theatrically released collection of storyboards where every actor looks copy-pasted into their scenes, reacts to absolutely nothing real, and wanders around a stomach-churning world of reddish-brown pond water. Come on! They spent $200 million on this and it still looks like Gritty's colonoscopy. Scott Lang is a famous author now, or at least famous enough to leave all his day one homies behind. Back it up, back it up. Okay, all you're gonna do is just, we, we, we just back it up, okay? That's it, back it up. Now he just wants to be a good dad because hopefully the third Cassie's the charm. Cassie Lang is the MCU's fifth canonical child science genius. Your daughter built a subatomic Hubble telescope in a basement doing what any girl her age would do in San Francisco, woke stuff. You shrank a cop car? What was I supposed to do, look the other way? Hope has returned with nothing new to offer besides her tactical hobbit hair. Janet Van Dyne is back to vaguely hint at all the quantum sex she had in the quantum realm. I had no idea. I know, it's, we'll talk later. She never said anything about you. Well, I don't think I would have told my kid either. <laughs> Wild stuff. I had needs. Oh my God. And Michael Douglas is never too stoned to wander around and talk about ants for a paycheck. Science with ants and science. <sighs> this just makes me nostalgic for that Ant-Man 1 promo. Ants. Ants. Ant-Man. Truly the most honest trailer of them all journey into the quantum realm and join our heroes on a desperate search for a reason to make more MCU movies as we all trudge through a half-assed orb heist fetch quest that's just an excuse to set up the next big villain, him. You left all of us with him. He's looking for you. They are talking about Kang, right? Not from me. And not from him. He's the future. Yeah, we met him in Loki. You don't have to be coy about the name. All for him. It's not a big reveal. He told us who he was. He's in the cold open. Ah, uh, whatever. Jonathan Majors dusts off his best Shakespeare in the Park voice. That's what conquerors do. As this once powerful being who refuses to accept he's been canceled. It's never over and choose scenery like a guy who knows that he's going away for a while, so he better stretch each line as long as possible. What are you going to do? And time. Win. Along for the ride are enough kooky aliens to let you know a Rick and Morty guy wrote this one too, with new characters like Captain Obvious. Everyone is disgusting. Bill Murray trying to be the fun cameo that Jeff Goldblum was, but trends closer to another Ralph Boner. Boner. <laughs> and the not ready for primetime Modoc, a floating joke with a grave warning for Illumination Studios. Do not even think about making a live action Minions movie. <laughs> So while spending time with the ageless Paul Rudd is always a treat, settle in for a universe that's gotten so big it's starting to collapse under its own weight that should have kept Ant-Man as the refreshing after-dinner mint instead of a dense lore salad to prop up the next 30 of these dumb things. <sighs> Can we just skip to the new Fantastic Four? I'd rather watch Luis recap the rest of Phase 5. Oh, see, that's complicated. Because when I first... Starring... Small Rudd... Hope Floats... The Masked Stinger... Ant-Man, Original Recipe, Madwoman, Kanger Issues, The Mid-Place, Kirby Sneezeland, Lord Krylar, with musical guest Ants, Daft Punk or Henchman at My House, My House, Broccoli Rob, ah! 
and Mr. E from the band Eels. Because his real-life dad invented multiverse theory. Sad that's the most mind-blowing thing in a $200 million movie. The Itty Bitty Witty Committee. How many holes do you have? He has seven holes. <gasps> Wait, are we sure there's seven? I think that eye holes would count, no? Do the mouth and butthole count as one for being connected? What about the separate peel for girls? Ugh, f*** you for making me do whole math. Hey, Screen Junkies, now that comic book movies are flopping in theaters, we did the actual math to find out if box office bombs kill careers. Click the box on the right to see if The Rock will ever work again in an all-new episode of By the Numbers. Subscribe. Drink the ease. If you need to spew, spew into this. Whopper, 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 whopper. I am Rodney Motisa from the Earl Grey tribe of the Congo. 